Hi there, Leo. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. We'll see what's going on with your person. What do the cards have to say today? We have a Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands, Seven of Coin, Ten of Cups, Devil. King of Wands, Strength, Queen of Sword. Okay, interesting energy here. Uh, I feel like your person wants to discuss the future here with the Seven of Coins in their thought space. I feel like they want to discuss moving forward with you. There's something about like... um. There's something about, um, I'm getting like a, a closure of a karmic cycle here uh, and a discussion here. It's like, let's, um, let's just follow our bliss here. I know this sounds kind of simplistic, but there's something about discussing the next step, the next phase here is what I'm getting. Like, well, there's something, your person, like wants to I feel like your person's feeling a little bit frisky also there's a frisky energy here like this all these wands here this uh knight of wand ace of wand uh king of wand energy there's like there's expansion here but there's also like a friskiness here also with this devil card um I feel like I, I'm gonna clarify but I feel like I want to start with the devil card because the devil card can have um a lot of different interpretations you know sometimes it has you know sometimes cards get you know these reputations like oh the devil card you know it's like oh no but there's something about i'm feeling like it's well let's pull a card on it here this this devil is what your person is most desiring but i'm also getting like this uh like something like a karmic closure here energy so maybe they're trying to step away from old patterns old relationships jobs living situations family situations that have weighed them down because i'm feeling like there's this lighter energy here that wants to move in and your person's feeling like capable of integrating all that they've learned into something new here like there's there's a fiery energy here you know there's a passionate energy here um, but, but what your person is most desiring is this devil maybe they've been you know there's this particular devil has this um uh, as a puppet, you know, it's like, are you know, are you the puppeteer or are you the puppet? Maybe you, maybe your person was in some sort of karmic situation that they're realizing has, you know, played its course. It's run its course. It's time for expansion here. You know, we do have this Knight of Wands, King of Wands energy here. So, you know, they Knight's about taking actions, following your passion with the Knight of Wands here. And we have this King of Wands, Ace of Wands energy. Uh, okay, well, let's clarify that, Devil. Uh, Page of Sword. Yeah, they've got all these brand new ideas. Um, they've got just all sorts of ideas about the future with you, creating with you, um, you know, jumping for joy here, being passionate, being frisky, trying new things, you know, and discussing it. Like, you know, what do you want to try? What do you want? Let's be daring. Like there's this daring energy here that, you know, they weren't able to express um where they were or where they when they were in this um um i feel i'm hearing never ending karmic cycles like i feel like they're ready to break free from that now they're ready to explore their something different here uh take action follow passion you know be excited with you you know their heart space is 10 of cups it's like they want to reconnect with you their seven of cups is their current thought space so it's like they're thinking about you know what do you what do we want to grow together i feel like the two of you when the two of you connect there's something you're meant to uh grow together whether it's you know 
um, you know, I, you know, getting new life, uh, new life, whether again, it's, it's, um, uh, uh, real, like creating new life meta metaphorically or, or physically is what I'm getting here. Six of wands. Yeah. So knight of wands, six of wands, like more wands here. It's like, let's just, let's set new goals here. I, per I feel like your person wants to discuss, what your goals are. What do you desire in life? What do you want to create in your lifetime? You know, what do I want to create? What do you want to create? Let's create it together. It's like your person's ready for this new adventure here. Eight of Swords. But there's a closing, there's a, I'm getting a karmic closure, like a cycle that held them back. They weren't able to uh, express how they truly felt. And they want to reconnect with you and discuss ten of sword yeah they feel like they really gosh it's like they want to i feel like they want to they're waking up here it's like this woman here is sleeping and he's like you know like it's kind of like you know the um you know the um the the um tales where the 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 prince comes along and kisses the princess and like they wake up like i feel like there's a there's um a, a renewal happening here there's a wake up uh what was what this is in their thought space too seven of coin ten of sword it's like i feel like they want to think differently you know ten of swords is the end of a whole thought process maybe they thought they were stuck where they were you know they were in this endless karmic cycle and now that's coming to an end so they can be truly happy with you here this ten of cups in their heart space death energy yes it's a whole new cycle when something ends something new begins simultaneously so this is a big transformation for your person they want to begin with you. They want to discuss, you know, they want to set new goals, discuss with you, you know, the future. Where do you want to go? They're feeling very excited. And it's destiny here falling into place here with the wheel of fortune energy here. The two of you are meant to connect. You, the two of you are meant to collide. You are also meant to experience those karmic connections, those karmic cycles. We learn we learn our best lessons from, you know, challenging situations. And I feel like your person has completed that cycle. They're feeling confident in themselves now. Nine of Cups. Yeah, this is the action they're taking. Strength, Nine of Cups. It's like they're ready to, they're ready for that wish fulfillment. They're ready to connect with you, create with you, be happy with you. And they have the ability to remove the past here this what spirit most wants us to know here is queen of swords star energy here so it's very much saying you know it's time it's time to manifest a new reality with you here we got the magician on the bottom of this deck bottom of this deck we got five of wands it's time for change you know i feel like your person has been um again i'm getting like the um uh, a karmic battle or, or like like been there forever it feels like nothing ever changed you know but now your person is standing up for themselves they have the strength they have the ability to speak their truth make change create something new from what was you know stepping out of the old and into the new is what i'm getting all right let us close with our Lemurian Oracle message. Uh, if you are still watching, please do like and subscribe. That would be uh, greatly appreciated. Okay, and our closing words of wisdom are vulnerability. When we are truly honest with ourselves in all our facets, we are vulnerable. That honesty is an important step in discovering our shadows and bringing them into the light for healing. When we share our vulnerabilities with others, we allow them to glimpse a deeper part of ourselves. Be vulnerable with yourself and others. It may be time to step into the role of healer and hold space. Holding space means being fully present, without judgment, in a way that provides a safe and nurturing environment here guards are dropped a deeper level of awareness and relating can unfold and profound healing takes place peace be with you bye now